take a step back to 1938. The last time Congress passed a major federal law regulating the personal care and beauty industry was in 1938. So around World War II, there was an incredible time of innovation and manufacturing that took place all across North America. We started to make products that made our lives so much easier, whether it be household cleaners, the food storage containers we used, or even things like lead that was used commonly in paint. The problem is, is we never pause to ask the question, what are the chemicals being used in these products and what are their impacts on our health and the environment? So in the 1960s, Rachel Carson, an incredible scientist, sounded the alarm on toxic chemicals found in pesticides and consumer products and their impacts on our health and the environment. Rachel said something very compelling. She said, quote, if we are going to live so intimately with these chemicals, eating and drinking them, taking them into the very marrow of our bones, we had better know something about their nature and their power. And I'm sure you can all agree. So let's make our way into the kitchen. One of the best swaps that you can make is to switch out nonstick Teflon pots and pans. There's a chemical used in the nonstick coating that's been linked to cancer and birth defects. Instead, we encourage you to opt for stainless steel or cast iron pots and pans. Canned foods are commonly lined with different types of bisphenols. So bisphenol A is probably an ingredient you've heard of when it comes to plastic water bottles and baby bottles. This similar chemical is found in can linings and is a widespread exposure route for people all across North America. So we encourage you to skip canned foods and instead opt for frozen or fresh produce when possible. Two other easy swaps, instead of using plastic cling wrap, there's great beeswax alternatives that you can wash and reuse. And we also encourage you to switch from plastic storage containers for your food to glass. We understand that not everyone can afford organic food and produce. So there's a really handy list called the Dirty Dozen that helps you identify the 12 produce products that have the most pesticide residue. Head over to Environmental Working Group's website to download the Dirty Dozen today. Well, none of us like cleaning our homes, it's a necessity, and it's actually one of the biggest ways that you can reduce your exposure to toxic chemicals that enter through household dust. The good news is you can find non-toxic cleaners at the majority of grocery stores today. But if you're on a budget, you can opt for using vinegar, lemon, and baking soda to clean your home. These are highly effective options that won't break the bank. We know that plastic pollution is a huge problem, so we have three solutions for you today. First, you can switch out stainless steel, paper, or glass straws in your home. You can also buy a reusable cup for your morning coffee or tea. And third, you can implement and buy a guppy friend. This is a bag that you put your athletic gear in before you put it in the laundry machine. And what it does is it traps the microplastic pollution that comes out of synthetic fibers. And finally, the smart scientists at NASA have found that household plants can actually help filter toxic chemicals from your home. So head on over to NASA's website to find the top 10 plants to help keep your home safe. The final tip for you today is to always use your headset, preferably one that's non-Bluetooth, that's plugged into your cell phone when speaking with your friends and family. So at the end of the day, do all these consumer choices actually make a difference? The answer is yes. Look no further than the few following examples. When the United States banned lead from gasoline, we saw the levels of lead that was found in children's blood absolutely plummet. This goes to show that when we pass strong laws protecting our health, there's a direct impact on consumer safety. Our friends at the Silent Spring Institute and Breast Cancer Prevention Partners conducted a study where they took families and they had chefs come in and make them fresh food and fresh meals for three days straight. What this meant is that these families were not exposed to common food packaging. And the results were amazing. Within just three short days, the families found a 66% decrease in BPA in their bodies, and they saw a 54% decrease in phthalates, a chemical linked to hormone disruption. The final study we find particularly heartening because it's related to the beauty industry. UC Berkeley conducted a study where they removed parabens and phthalates from makeup and cosmetics used by Latina teenagers. Within three short days, the researchers found 27.4% decrease of parabens in the teenagers' bodies and a 43.9% decrease of phthalates. So at the end of the day, small choices can have a really big impact. We hope this information is useful as you start your clean slate.